you just asked a real important question. Something I really hope people can understand. It's gonna be really real. Please pay attention to this one thing. The only way I've seen, now that I'm older, that you can build confidence is if you surround yourself with people that are optimistic. It's just super real. It's super hard what I'm about to say to you. Everybody in this room needs to cut out as much of the noise and time with people that are negative and spend as much time with people that are positive. And I'm not talking about positive as like, there's people in the toughest situations that are optimistic and positive and there's the people that have the most in the world that are pessimistic and negative. This isn't where you're at or what you got. This is, are the people that you're sitting with at school, on the bus, the shelter, here, right now, are they saying how shitty everything is? Or are they talking about how to get the fuck out? Get rid of everybody who says it's shitty, including family members, I'm not kidding. Doesn't mean run away from home, you know, know, but kinda. There's only one way to build confidence, my guy. It's having people that are reinforcing good things to you. It's brainwashing shit, for real. You're so confident, so sure of yourself, but when you were just starting, who my was mom. Person? Your mom? My mom. What did she do for you? Everything? She, when I was nine years old and opened the door for an elderly woman at a McDonald's, she reacted as if I won the Nobel Peace Prize. Good mom. What my mom did was super smart. She overreacted on everything that I was doing that was a good human trait and she held me accountable for things that didn't matter like grades. She didn't let me complete, like she punished, I got punished four times a year, every year from the time I was in third grade until my senior year of high school. Literally. I would get my report card, I would take it out of the mail and flush it down the toilet. This is true. Which would buy me a week. Then my sister finally broke down and would tell on me. I'd be punished for two weeks, no TV, no Nintendo, and then we'd reset. My mom built huge self-esteem in me, and I feel like the biggest reason I am who I am today to everybody is because I feel so guilty and so grateful for what she did for me that I want to do it for everybody else, which is, guess what? You suck at a ton of shit. Good. So does everybody else. You're also probably pretty fucking rad at something. Try as many things as possible until you figure out what you're rad at and you like and go fucking do that for the rest of your life and stop giving a fuck about everybody else. Insecurity is the seed that creates all these issues. Absolutely. And so I'm trying to figure out why they didn't build self-esteem, who didn't build self-esteem, and the reason I bring up mom is like, Jesus, it's such a big percentage of it. Mom or dad is like 80% of it. It's just, you know, I'm fascinated by it because I had the reverse. I'm so perfectly parented by my mother, I'm unstoppable. I feel guilty that I'm so emotionally grounded and strong, that's why I'm giving it to you. That, like, what do you think's happening up here? I feel guilty that I have it so good mentally. There's nothing anybody can do to my mental state. It's insane. I am so weird, guys. <laughs> like, it, like, nothing hits, it's like I'm numb. And so, I go right to the core. I do it when I see it sometimes. I'm like, hey, you are unbelievable and you think you're shit, that's bad. We need to talk about this. Tell me everything about your childhood. (laughs) Like, you know, and I just go there and you know, sometimes you get a little break, sometimes, but what's really fun is they start thinking about it and it changes behavior. I get an email every day that says that they disconnected from somebody in their inner circle and for the last six months they're breathing for the first time in their lives. It is not easy to break up with your brother. It is not easy to break up with your spouse. It is not easy to break up with your father. But that's actually the binary move if they're the poison of your life.